what I'm actually showing you here is I'm showing you the, the if you like, the first page results from Google. I'm logged into my, um, my account. So these should be personalized results. They're obviously not because the um, Search Plus Your World results have not been rolled out to the Google uh, UK IP addresses yet, even though I'm actually on google.com. So, um, but, but what I wanted to show you in this particular video is I wanted to show you the, uh, the benefits of some of the things that are kind of going on at the moment. And I thought it would be easier for me to do it through a video rather than through screen grabs. So, um, so I've, I've typed in city breaks with, with inverted commas. And as you can see, you've got um, lastminute.com, travel, public, secretscapes in the, the one, two, three in the middle. And they, they're, they're obviously different colors. And then you've got the, the other sort of paid ads down the side. Now, some of the things that I wanted to just kind of point out to you as, as potential um, things to, to kind of bear in mind as, as an AdWords advertiser. Uh, first off, clearly the, the term is city breaks. So any, any instance where it shows city breaks will actually be there in bold. Um, so that's, that's one way of, of ensuring that, you know, you, you've got some sort of visibility of people clicking through to your ads. Um, this is, this is a, an ad where, as you can see, the, the actual title is much longer than the standard 35. So this is a, a different format that Google are using. Um, you've got seller reviews, and you can see they've got four and a half. So it's important to try and get reviews for uh, your um, products from visitors to Google. Um, and then obviously they've got their, um, their call to action book online today, which is fairly weak. Uh, but you know their their kind of unique selling proposition is you no know, booking fees, um, and as you can see, you've got two hundred and seventy six people have plus one or followed lastminute.com. dot uk, and what they're doing is if you look at the uh, the bottom, you can see that they're actually referring through to their Google Plus page from there. Um, what you've then got is you've got these site links, which are taking people to different places on their site. Uh, so you've got amazing Asia holidays, up to 30% on flight hotel, hotel, Paris city breaks, and get inspired. Now, again, from the pur pur purpose of this particular search, which is city breaks, I would have thought personally that they would have had something that was more relevant to city breaks for that, because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a city break. I'm not looking for an amazing Asian holiday. Uh, Paris city break, yep, yeah, that's appropriate. Uh, flight and hotel, not really sure. Get inspired. I mean, you know, again, that's just kind of marketing speak. Um, what's interesting is you can see 276 people have plus one their Google Plus page, whereas Travel Public have clearly invested a lot more into their Google Plus activity. Um, and as you can see, they've got 521,000 people plus, plus one will follow their, their particular one. And, and if you hover over it, you can actually see down the bottom there, they have, uh, a, they've got a, a custom URL in, in Travel Republic whereas lastminute.com is still using their uh, long 20 digit code. Um, so that's the, the first thing I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you now was that um, for secret escapes, again, what they've done is they've, they've put the, um, the search term in as a destination URL. Um, they've got their, um, Again, there's, there's no specific call to action. It says save up to 70%, those prices available online, but they're not actually telling you what to do. Now, whereas Travel Republic, they're telling you book your perfect city break online now with Travel Republic. Fine, I mean, I think, I think we get the fact that it's Travel Republic, they've got it mentioned in their title, their destination URL, their description, they've got plus one there. So, you know, there's, there's clearly a lot of stuff that they, they potentially could do different. And as you can see, they've got six hundred fifty-six seller reviews, and I think reviews are something that other people pay a lot more attention to these days than than, than they used to. The uh, thing I'm quite interested in is this uh, email address where they've got offers. So it's uh, very likely that, that Google Offers have approached Secret Escapes to to do a a kind of group buying deal, so they get people to just put their email address and it goes straight through that. Um, what you've then got is you've also got, like if you hover over the, uh, the uh, preview, what you'll see is you'll see that, that obviously lastminute.com have got a snippet of, of information which is relevant to city breaks. 
um, Travel Republic, again, you know, looking at the, the landing page, it's supposed to be about city breaks, but, you know, it looks like they're just taking you straight through to their sort of bog standard homepage. And then obviously with Secret Escapes, they've got something where they're promoting their up to 70% off. Um, so effectively what they're doing is they're just doing a, a, an email data capture for this particular campaign, which I think is quite a clever idea. Uh, because I think, you know, in respect of if you can get people onto your email list, you've got a much better chance of getting people to um, to sign up for City Breaks and you can kind of email them every time you have a new break coming out. Uh, what I wanted to show you now was just looking at some of the URLs that people are doing. If you hover over this, you, know, you can actually see down the bottom um, that lastminute.com are using tracker.marinsm.com, which, which means that they're using Marin software to handle their paid search campaigns. That's their bid management tool. Uh, Travel Republic, uh, doesn't look like they're using anything. They've just got something going straight through. They may well have an internal system. Um, Secret Escapes, again, same deal. Uh, Ice Lolly, you've got, uh, difficult to tell, it's, it's too long. Um, British Airways are using Dart as their ad serving technology. Uh, you've got, uh, Travelsupermarket.com are using everettstech.net. I don't know who Everett's Tech is. I'll find that, that out. Uh, Cheap City Bookers, no, no, eBookers are using the Trade Doubler technology. Trade Doubler make it available so that people can track their clicks and sales through using their platform. Um, you've got eDreams who are using nothing really. Um, Cheap City Breaks, oh, sorry, Direct Line City Breaks. Uh, they're using everettstech.net and I think Saga were also using Dart and Late Rooms are using Everett's Tech. But what I wanted to kind of point out with the sidebar ads is if you look, you've got uh, Ice Lolly, you've got 232 people plus one in the page, uh, British Airways, nothing, Travel Supermarket, nothing, eBook is nothing, eDreams, nothing, which, and then you get right down to the bottom, you've got... Um, Late Rooms have got 708,000 people who have plus one or followed Late Rooms. And again, they've got a custom URL if you look down at the bottom left there. Um, so clearly there's a lot of brands that have adopted and, and embraced the Google Plus proposition and there's a lot that haven't. So I think in time, Late Rooms and um, Travel Republic will actually see immense benefit in the activity that they put in and trying to build a, uh, a sort of strong subscriber base within the Google Plus platform. And that ends this video. I hope you like it. If you like to see more of these sorts of videos, then just find one of my uh, subscriber forms on the page somewhere and uh, fill it in. And every time I post a new video or a new blog post, I'll let you know that uh, there's something up there saves you having to kind of keep coming back. Thanks a lot. Speak to you soon.